In today's video, we're doing up some pellet grilled ribeye steaks using grill grates. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue of Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, we're doing some pellet grilled ribeye steaks using our grill grates. Now, if I'm grilling, I'm typically always using them. They're one of my backyard barbecue gadgets that I use constantly. And we got a special rub that we're putting on them ribeyes. So grab your pellet grill and your grill grates, Brian. We're gonna be doing up some ribeye steaks. Today, we've got two Angus Choice ribeye steaks, and we're gonna dial them up with some kosher salt and the 2019 SCA champion, Robbie Staggs, Two Pig Mafia rub. Now this Two Pig Mafia steak seasoning is produced by Suckle Busters themselves. So check out in the link below yeah. and head on over. But don't forget my promo code, it's gonna save you 10%. Now that 10% can go for your toilet paper budget. Now I did a little taste test of this competition steak seasoning and wow is it packed with flavor. So I'm excited to get it on these ribeyes. Let's start adding some flavor. We're gonna start out with the kosher salt. Huh? We're gonna flip them over. Now, I like a lot of kosher salt on my steaks. And I'm a messy Marvin when I'm doing it. Now let's add the Two Pig Mafia. One thing you cannot deny that anything that Suckle Busters makes is a sneeze alert. And this rub is a competition blend, so it's gonna be packed. And I always like to pat it in a little bit. And for the sides, I just take the steaks and I like to roll them right on the cutting board. We're just picking up the stragglers. We don't want them to miss out on the fun. These are all seasoned up. We're gonna let them set and sweat for a bit and then I'll go out and get the pellet grill ready. We're gonna be using our grill grates today. All right, we're outside. Finally, I'm outside cooking and I'm not in my garage. The breezeway cleared off. We got a little bit of rain and as you can see, it's starting to melt. Barbecue season is officially started. Sure, it's only 36 degrees out, but hey, I'm a Viking and I'm gonna cook outside when I can. So let's get this pellet grill fired up. Turn the power on and let's just turn it to smoke. And obviously you wanna open up your lid and let out the pollutants of the big startup of the white smoke. And once that afterburner kicks in, then we're gonna close up the lid and turn up the pellet grill to 400 degrees. We're gonna start preheating the pit itself before we put the grill grates in. And of course you wanna open up the lid and let out that first initial white smoke. Boom. Now in the comments below, guess who that famous bass player's solo is? All right, she's burning clean now. We can go ahead and close up the lid and turn the pellet grill up to 400 degrees. Now set a timer for 10 minutes. We're just gonna warm up this pit before we go ahead and put in our grill grates. Here in Wisconsin, we're also suffering from the toilet paper shortages. You can't even go to Walmart and buy any. But we've got the remedy, cheese curds. What? Just get yourself a bag of cheese curds. You won't have to use any toilet paper for at least two days. Smart and economical, trust me. And this tastes way better than toilet paper. I'm telling you, Mullins cheese curds can always help a good coronavirus. Okay, the pellet grill's getting close to 350 degrees. We're gonna start getting our grill grates ready and get them in this pit so they start heating up. Now, this is only the third time that I've used these grill grates. So again, I have to put some canola oil on them and I'll show you how I do it. You can see some of the seasoning has come off, but that's okay. We're gonna build up in layers, not a big deal. Go ahead, spray it down, back, rotate it, spray it in the front. Because you'll see areas like this, they don't have enough coating yet. And that's just what we're doing. Kind of like painting a fence. Now just start hooking them back up. Put them in an angle, lock them together. Then take this one, get that locked together. We'll open up the lid. We'll start putting them in right in the center of the fire pot. Close up the lid and set a timer for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna start using our infrared thermometer and start checking those temperatures on those rails. Now I want my cooking temperatures on the top of those rails at 500 degrees. Okay, our 10 minute timer went off. Let's go ahead and check out the temperatures on those grill grates, but we're just checking that top edge of that rail. That's it, we want that cooking temperature to be at 500 degrees. I guarantee you they are gonna be. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, 575, 600 and some. That's where we wanna be. Let's go ahead and start putting on these steaks. And we're doing the two and 10 o'clock. Get them on, squish them down. 
you really want to put some pressure on them so you can get that perfect ponderosa crosshatch. Close up the lid and set a timer for two minutes. We're looking to get these at that medium, medium rare doneness. Okay, our two minute timer went off. Let's go ahead and rotate these to 10 o'clock position. Grab them, just turn them over a little bit and again, squish them down. Close up the lid and set another timer for two minutes. Then we're gonna flip them over. Dirty glove off, clean one back on. Okay, our two minute timer went off. We're gonna go ahead and rotate these to two o'clock position. Pick them up and just flip them over right back to two o'clock. Wow, look at those hatch marks. Those are looking pretty. Close up the lid and set a timer for another two minutes. This is easy, ain't it? Now make sure you have a nice thermometer so you can read those internal temps. Okay, our two minute timer went off. We're gonna go ahead and rotate these to 10 o'clock position. Pick them up. Ooh, nice little flare up, but smothered out immediately. Close up the lid and set a timer for one minute. I want you to check these temperatures in one minute because you don't want to overcook them and it always depends on how hot these rails really are. If you don't have a good internal thermometer yet, check out the links below. This MK4 is incredible. Quick readings for cooks like this. Our one minute timer went off. Let's go ahead and check and see where our temperatures are real quick. All right, let's check them out. Okay, we're getting close. Ooh, looks like we got a little bit of a grease fire back there. These things are ready to come off. Okay, we got these off. There must be a little bit of buildup in the back of this pit because that's strange that we have this burning right there. Oh well. Now we're gonna take these in and let them rest for about five minutes. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut into them and see what we got. As you can see that I had a little bit of a grease fire back in that corner. That's not from the grill grates. Guess I didn't do a very good job cleaning out the pit. We'll see you back inside when it's time to try these out. Okay, so our Angus steaks have rested for five minutes, but you could see I did have a little bit of a grease flare up. It didn't hurt it because it was in the back of the pit, but it has nothing to do with the grill grates themselves. Somebody didn't clean off the deflector plate as good as he probably should have. Now, because I'm the one that cooked them, I'm heading right for the spinalis part. Now this one looks pretty good to me and it's crazy juicy, which is awesome. Let's cut off a piece. Very good and filled with a lot of flavor. Perfect for steak. I see why Robbie Staggs won the championship with this rub. Wow, that is really good. i gonna lump off a piece over here on this one, but these are crazy juicy. That's why it's important to let these rest. Just let them rest and they'll absorb all that juices throughout the fibers. Instead of letting it just all run off on the cutting board, let it get back in that fiber. Man, crazy tender. The cross hatching looks awesome. Who's gonna complain about that piece? Maybe a vegan would but not a carnivore. Get right into more of the center part of this one. See what we're at. Oh yeah, that is one heck of a rub. Now you can see truly how simple it is when you use the grill grates to do up a couple ribeye steaks. So if you've been struggling, run it like the way I do. You'll have some decent quality steaks that are gonna work for everyday eating. But just look at this cut. Wow. I mean, it's busting with flavor. And I hope you can see it and I hope my lens is doing its job, but dang. This is perfect. Yeah. Now, to be honest with you, I am willing to trade a few slices for a couple packs of toilet paper. I'm starting to hoard in on that deal, but I'm smarter than the rest of you because I'm buying plungers also. Tell you what, that Robbie Staggs has got it going on, for real. Good job, dude. I see why you're a champion. No, 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 not that one. No, 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 that's mine. That, no, 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 uh, I'm sorry. You can have this fat glob. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because I got a new cooker coming to town and you're quarantined. You're not gonna wanna miss any of these videos because this is a war machine. This thing is huge. So we'll see you in the next video. I did a little taste test of this competition steak. 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 It's steak. It's steak, you know, from Sweden. It's steak. Jesus. Wow, I got a breath of that. Woo, doggy. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Now here in Wisconsin, we're also suffering from the toilet paper sort. Oh, am I still recording? Let's be ready. This thing's still running. Cheese curds! Instead of just letting it roll. So I want you to go out to the pit boss and turn it up to uh, 400 degrees again. One of you. Put your shoes on, run out there and do it. Okay, all right, press stop.